just the energy vibration reading for um, the um, for the 48th week of the year 2017 and this reading is for the um, Sagittarians because um, this is coming up to your birthdays okay so let's see exactly what is going on because last week we handled the month with the energy of the um, the scorpion birthday so um, you Sagittarians are beginning your birthday and this is going to be wonderful you are ending the month of December you Sagittarians so um the week is running from the 27th until the 3rd of um uh, until the the 4th the 27 until the 4th so um let's look because we're going from the 27 until the um 4th that's that's really weird it's really strange um um let's look yeah it's it's until because um i have here 26 but it's 27 until the third okay so um it is from the 27 until the third some people are saying the 27 until the fourth um but it is the 27 until the third the day before so you have um, the 27th until the 3rd I'm sorry <laughs> anyway um welcome um welcome back to another weekly readings for the birthday people of the Sagittarians um for you Sagittarians this is kind of a weird week I have changed up the readings for the week as you see in the monthly readings please remember to go and listen to your monthly energy vibration reading for the month of December for you Sagittarians I am using this deck as your base reading in this month and then I am using the helpers which is a Storok by Barbara which is good I love it it speaks the truth and I'm using the Lenorum for messages that will be coming out okay so ladies and gentlemen I want to welcome you back to another weekly reading this is the last week last and final week of um, the month of Oct of November thank God this month is over Wow thank God this month is over <laughs> yeah and um, this month um, was a month of oh my god it was like a karmatic month I uh, you know November is finally over we're going into the month of December so this reading is for the people who are um, having their birthdays from the 27th until the 3rd of December happy birthdays to everyone out there and let's look and see what is taking place this week has the energy vibration and in the month in the new year because this is when your new year of 2017 is beginning and you have the energy vibration of uh, um, temperance temperance so this is some uh, the energy vibration of the Virgos that are co coming in um, you are going to use their energy vibration in this year it is a year of temperance having balance in your life finding the balance in your life so don't forget people this is a, um, a week of balance but it's also the beginning of the year because this is your year reading it is your birthday reading and you are just beginning the year 2017 so the Capricorns are the last one who are with you Sagittarians so let's look at you Sagittarians and see what is coming in in this year for the people who are having birthdays okay Sagittarians let's see what is uh, um, transpiring what is going to be taking place for you birthday people what is going to be happening for you birthday people in this new year that is coming up for you guys um, so let's see what is going to transpire 
we have the first layer down some of you are going to have situations um, with the queen of wands the queen the queen of swords some of you are going to have situations with the energy of the queen of swords okay so um, this could be um, your mom your sister or people who are around you you're going to have situation with the queen of swords in this year so a lot of swords sign people um, um for the people who are here and looking forward there's going to be um, a situation with the energy of the queen of swords okay so um here we're going to look whatever is happening um there are endings coming in good situations are coming out for some of you situations that have to affect houses and that sort of a thing good friends good people are going to come in whatever sadness there is going to be you're moving out to something else if you have health problems some of you and there is a good situation a lot of secrets are going to be coming out in this year okay so for you birthday people you were born on the 27 until the 3rd of december a lot of secrets is going to come out in the year 2017 a lot of information a lot of things that you weren't aware of is going to come out in the year 2017 it could be that some of you are going to be writing a book revealing information and, and things but um whatever is happening there are secrets that is going to come out and the secret could be coming out about someone who is an aquarius a gemini or a libra okay so hold on to that um for a lot of you this is going to happen this is going to be a situation that is going to affect you guys okay let me look at um let's you know really go look at the energy and see what is happening here what is taking place so i'm going to bring the cameras down so you guys can see um, the energy of the cards the layout of the cards and i think it's a little bit too far back so we want to see the whole energy of what is happening here it's supposed to be centered i think that's it okay so let's get on with it okay <clears throat> for the people who were born on the 27 okay for the people who were born on the 27 this year 2017 this year 2017 you have to find inner strength because this is the beginning of this year it's as if you're about to clear certain karmas and certain situation that has been happening in your life you're about to clear up the situation so you need inner strength and with temperance and inner strength for the people who were born on the 27 2 plus 7 is 9 that is spirituality you always carry the energy vibration of the spirituality within you are going to need the balance of this energy of strength and there is going to be a lot of sadness happening in this year of 2017 and a lot of endings okay for some people it's going to be a lot of sadness and endings and I'm going to put this deck here to balance out your cards because I have been um, working with a deck um, to balance out your cards and um, what is happening is that or I can just hold them what is happening for a lot of you is that the inner strength you are going to need inner strength the inner strength with the transformation so um, you're going to need inner strength there is going to be a lot of sadness and sorrow but that sadness and sorrow for some people is going to end okay so whatever sadness and sorrow you have been going through whatever situation that been uh, has been transpiring in your life uh, this sadness is going to end for a lot of people so as you find inner strength in this year because this is your year 2017 that is about to begin for the people who was born on the 27th you are going to find that inner strength again with temperance because temperance is one of your energy vibration that is going to carry you through the year 2017 and temperance and strength so you have the fire within you to find the inner strength and guidance and whatever sadness is going to occur the sadness is going to come to an end whatever sadness 
whatever situation that you have been going through, it is going to come to an end. Okay. So this is the basis of what this year 2017 is bringing for you guys, because 2017 was a year of a lot of stuff, a lot of um, stuff that was ending. They were endings coming in. 2017 is going to be a year that a lot of uh, situation that has been happening is um, uh, just ending out and this is going to be good, okay? We are going to look at the people who were born on the 28th. So if you were born on the 28th of the of November, you are going to have the energy of temperance and uh, um, um, the hangman, which is um, here and it's in um, the right position, the hangman. So what is happening is that uh, you're going to go within to find your true inner light in this year. And by going in to find your true inner light, a new love, a new situation is going to enter your life. And um, a lot of people are going to be connecting because as you look at this, you're going in to see your inner light, to find out who you are as a true spiritual being. And by finding out who you are, then you are going to start to love yourself. And then by loving yourself, you are going to attract new love in your life by doing this. And you can see the invitation here of the town coming out because this invitation of the town coming out that for some people, new love will be coming in your life, okay? For some people, you're going to start to love yourself. You're going to start to connect to yourself. You're going to understand that I know who I am. I am going to um, connect with myself and I'm going to love myself and respect myself for who I am. But by doing that, what you actually do is invite the universe to send you more positive and more loving people in your life. A lot of invitations is going to be, uh, a lot of people are going to be connecting with you and this could be somebody who is a writer, somebody who has a blog, somebody who has a website, somebody who is doing something positive for the world itself or for other people. And um, this is good because um, you are going to find yourself and realize who you are and by doing this, uh, um, you are going to find out that you're going to attract a lot, a lot of new um, possibilities, invitation. If you're looking for new work, promotions, all of this is coming in. It's a newness with love, newness with um, a lot of situations around you. And this is going to be good. Okay, so this is a positive energies, especially with the ace. It's love. A lot of new love is coming in for a lot of people, a lot of new invitations. Um, people are going to be connecting with you. Wonderful, wonderful, positive energies are going to be coming out for you guys who were born on the 28th. So this is going to be very, very positive for you guys. Okay, new love, new love. Expect um, to meet new people, new situations, whatever you have been looking for. This is going to be happening for you guys. We're moving on to the people who were born on the 29th. You have the energy vibration of um, the debt. Debt. Debt is transformation. Okay. Um, there is going to be a huge transformation that is going to come up in your life. For the people who are um, married to... Um, yeah, there's a, there, there's, there's a huge transformation that is coming up in your life. The first message is for the people who are married to the Aquarians, the Gemini or the Libra. There is going to be an end to your marriage or relationship. Okay. So if you were married, um, to an Aquarius, a Gemini or a Libra, an end is coming in for your relationships. And there is going to be a split of the house and that sort of a thing. There is going to be a transformation in your home for the people in business who has business or work or is this person your supervisor. 
there could be a transformation in the sense that this person is going to start to respect you for whatever reason and a balance is going to come in so let's say you work with someone this could be also your professor or teacher or that sort of a thing this also because it is uh, the prince so someone who is young whatever is happening there's going to be a, a transformation so let's say it is your your child or it is someone at your workplace or it is someone who you have to um, work in pros because um, this is all about the house is all about your home your your life at home and it's all about work so some people it could be affecting you at home it could be affecting you at work but there's going to be a huge transformation with the people who are connected to the Aquarius the Gemini's or the Librans there is going to be a huge transformation coming in in this year so if you were born under 29 expect that the fire people that is connected with you in your home or at work there is going to come a huge transformation this is the end of November 2017 um, for the general readings but for you guys it's the beginning of your new year so if you were born on the 30th the 30th of November you have the year coming up to work with a lot of people in organization but this is going to bring you a lot of luck because if it's work um, whoever you're connected with in an organization let's say that you're um, because this is about making a friend with someone who is of Aries Leo or Sagittarius in an organization this is going to be very very positive because what is going to happen is that whoever this person is in an organization she is going to have your back you are going to be very good friends with this person and this person is going to have your back these fire sign people from out of an organization is coming in to help you so if you were born on the 30th of November this year is going to be a very positive year because it doesn't really matter what situation if it's a church if it's a school if it's where you go to study if it's your work if it's your home life whatever um, it could be an insurance company it could be just especially at work these fire sign peoples are really 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 going to come in as a friend there's someone the energy of this queen it could be a king who is going to come in and it's going to help you and this person is going to really 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 be a true friend to you not that is someone who is going to want to be with you because they see what you have and what you are about to receive in your life but this transformation in this year is going to be positive whatever situation that was happening is going to be so positive for you people who were born on the 30th of November so a lot of love is coming in there's going to be um, this queen of wands could be an Aquarius a Leo or a Sagittarius um, that is coming in it could be yourself if it's uh, um, yeah because you are a Sagittarius so it could be you especially the women who was born in November uh, on November 30th you are going to meet so many new people and have and connect with so many new friends true love love and friendship a positive balance is going to be happening for you guys okay welcome to December welcome to December so happy birthday to the people who were born on December 1st you have the energy vibration of um, the lovers what a sign so for you people who were born in December it's all about love in the year 2017 because this is the year 2017 for you some of you are going to have regrets in a love relationships um, some of you are going to um, decide to go on a new journey some of you are going to want to change your relationship for whatever reason it is some of you are going to think this is not what I'm looking for and you're going to decide to move on to something else so this year for you guys because the first of December is um, for the people who were born on the 1st of December you are beginning your year of 2017 now because um, after your birthday in a year that is when you 
start the energy vibration of that here okay so look at yourself and look at your love life it's all about love you Sagittarius it's all about love you Sagittarius that was born on the 1st of December it's going to be all about love in the year 2017 that you're about to begin in a lot of you are going to think about your relationship and make changes in your relationship okay and this is your intimate relationship your marriage your long-term relationship is going to affect marriage and long-term relationship some of you are going to decide to remove yourself from a, a marriage or a long-term relationship that you have been having um, the love is not there anymore so you are looking for better um, better um, um, better possibilities in your life okay we're moving on to the people who were born on the 2nd of December you have the energy of the eye princess it's going to be a, a, a a, a year of wonderful wonderful this is going to be a year of wonderful wonderful possibilities that will be coming in for you you have the energy of the eye princess and you are going to have help from the princess of pentacles this could be someone child because the princess of pentacles is a very spiritual person this is the eye princess if you have a child that is or if you're connected with someone that is a Virgo a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn this is going to be a wonderful year because this person is going to help some of you with your health uh, or this person is going to help some of you with your financial situation okay so whatever the situation is this princess of Pentacles it can be the prince or the princess of Pentacles that is come in a Taurus or Virgo or Capricorn who you're going to be deeply connected with because it's as if your spiritual guides and angels send this person to you you have chosen this person in um, contract life contract soul contracts to come in and help you and this is going to be extremely wonderful okay so this connection is going to be a very positive connection this year is going to be good because this person is going to come in is as if your spirit guides an angel is going to send in either this prince of princess of pentacles who you're going to connect with at a deeper a deeper sense and they are going to help you there is a um, cosmic love that is there and they are going to help you um, in your um, in this year this is good because you fire sign connecting with the, the earth sign people are very good these are going to end up to be very good relationships so, okay we're moving on we're moving on to the energy vibration of uh, um, the um, people who are born on the 3rd of December happy birthday um, you have the energy of uh, another woman another female energy that is coming in and this is the Empress the Empress brings the Prince of Pentacles this isn't this wonderful a lot of you are going to be marrying to someone who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn a lot of you are going to be marrying a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn this is going to be a very long-lasting relationship okay some of you are going to be in connection with um, a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person in a business sense this is going to be very very prosperous okay and some of you uh, who have tutors um, teachers who or of the Tau Taurus Virgo or Capricorn there is going to be a very very good connection it's going to be a sacred connection it's going to be a wonderful wonderful year for you so congratulations for you guys who because uh, who are going to get married marriage is very important be aware that you're marrying for the right reasons um, these hurt sign people are going to bring balance in your life you both are going to bring luck to your lives there's a lot of marriage that is about to take place if it's not marriage it's going to be for some people marriage it's going to be for some people um, a connection a soul connection that you have um, spoken with this person about in lifetime and lifetime before this is actually um, a very positive reading because for most of you love is going to be playing a, a, um, a specific specific role in your life in this year of 2017 because it's the beginning of your 2017 a lot of marriages are going to be taking place but a lot of relationship and marriages are going to be hand in so 
as you look at your energies and you see a lot of good friends, you're going to be connecting with a lot of good friends, whoever and whatever situation that is taking place, you're going to connect. And for the people who are born under 27, not to worry, your sorrows is ending. Okay. Whatever sorrows you had, whatever sadness that you had in your life, whatever um, situation that was happening, this sorrow is about to end and new possibilities, new love relationship, new happiness, new connection. A lot of people are going to have uh, um, um, a situation where luck is coming in for you guys. It's as if your luck, whatever that was blocking your luck is about to come out. Okay. Um, this is going to be a very long reading, <laughs> Sagittarius. Okay. And um, what I should look for and let you know that good friends are coming in, you know, um, for the people who are going through the sorrow ending of the sorrow for it's going to end. The year is going to end on a good note for you guys, because whatever you have been, um, transforming and going through, this is going to be ending. A lot of love is coming out because especially for the people who were born on the 30th of the um, November, th th there is love, powerful love, good friendship, good connection, good business connection, good work connection, good people. You're going to, um, um, you know, have good things, new possibilities are happening. Um, and yeah, for the people who were born on the 1st of December, you're transforming your life and your world. And this is what is happening. So not to worry about this situation that is happening for you. Okay. Cause it's just a year of transformation. A lot of you will be getting married. A lot of you will be getting engaged. A lot of you will be finding that perfect person. A lot of new love is coming in for you guys. I am working with the angels of uh, um, answers and let's see what it is for the birthday Sagittarians in the year 2017. What are they going to be receiving? And it says let go. So for the people who are having sorrows, let go, let go, let go. The people who are having sorrows, whatever situation that is happening, let go of that situation because something new and better wants to come in. So learn this and understand this. Just let go of whatever that is happening, whatever that is not working out for you. Let go of it and uh, look forward. And we have the last message from um, the conscious, the conscious spirit. And um, it is the moon goddess is going to come and help you guys. And it says, I am in harmonious flow with the moon energy and all aspects of my life. I am in the harmonious flow with myself and all aspects in my life. I'm trying to let you see the words. Okay. So the moon goddess is going to come in. That's a feminine energy. There's a lot of feminine energy. You have the eye princess. You have uh, the empress. A lot of feminine energies are coming in. Um, this is wonderful. This is um, extremely wonderful for you birthday people because what the goddesses and angels are coming in to say is that let go. You need to let go, let go of whatever situation that is not working out in your life. Let go and understand that something new and better is going to come in your life. So for the people who are not in balanced relationship, for the people who are fighting against things that are happening, let go because something good is going to come in your life. As we look at the energy of the moon goddesses, um, she say, I am in harmonious flow with the moon's energy and um, all phases of my life. And please remember, come back to this video whenever you are um, having a situation in your life where you're feeling as if you know what is happening. Come back to this video, call upon the moon goddesses because the moon goddesses is going to be here. The eye princess also is going to be working with you because what you need to understand is that you are, you, you are closely going to work with each other because this is the, um, the beginning of your new year of 2017. 2017 is a very karmatic year. It is the beginning 
of uh, um, weighing out and balancing out all your karmatic situation that has been happening in your life and this is where you're going to see transformation happening in this um in 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 this um year so ladies and gentlemen um you know boys and girls i want to say to you thank you for being here please like share these videos and i'm wishing you a wonderful new year and we will speak to each other next year namaste